Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to the last section of my X3 Albion Prelude modding tutorial. This is the tutorial that teaches you how to mod your game. So, this section is all about what type of mods are out there. We're going to talk about how to do the false patching method, how to install, that's how you install larger mods. Um, and then the last thing is my recommended mods, which we'll get into briefly. Now, I have made a detailed forum post over on the newly established The XP Gamers forum, the community forum. So if you head over there, you click the link in the description below, and it'll give you, you know, detailed list with all the links and everything you need with some pictures. And my rebalanced Star Trek ships for my Let's Play that I that I've been working on. So, which is not out yet, unless this video is old. So make sure you check the date on the video. All right, so let's get into it. First thing, what kind of mods are out there? So I'm gonna go ahead, drag this over, and we're gonna look at the, here's the forum for the community. If you go down to tutorials, videos, and guides, and there'll be a direct link in the description, uh, Terran Conflict and Albion Prelude Guides. So here is the guide set up. Now, the type of mods that are out there, I have a lot of links here. But the first type I wanna talk about is the overhauls. Now, these are the big mods. They're like, they're almost, they're big as like a total conversion. Um, Extended is a really well-known one. This is for Terran Conflict, though it does have an experimental version. Uh, they add new ships, uh, there's some new missions in there, there's new assets, there's all kinds of new gameplay uh, things that this adds. You have to go through their list because it's really substantial. Uh, another one that is a overhaul would be the X3 rebalance mod. Kind of the same deal. They go through, they rebalance all the ships, so they have very specific roles built around them. And uh, weapons and whatnot have all been balanced to make combat a bit more fun. Now, me personally, for my Let's Play, I'm using modded ships. And normally, XSP ships or modded ships um, don't normally play nice with the rebalance mods. So keep that in mind. If you're going to play one of the big rebalance mods, you're probably not going to play a lot of with a lot of individual mods installed. And then, of course, we've got total conversions. Now, I'm going to keep expanding this list. So what you're seeing here may be just a small portion of what's actually over on the forums because I'm going to keep adding more to it, especially things that I've tested. Now, I haven't tested the, uh, the Battlestar Galactica X3 AP mod. Uh, but it looks really cool. I mean, you get Battlestar Galactica, you get all the ships in there, the Cylons are in there, there's new weapons and turrets and whatnot, so that's a total conversion. That changes the game into a whole new universe. There's not a lot of total conversions for X3, sadly. Um, all right, so that would be the big overhauls and the total conversions. There's also XSP ships, which if you scroll down a little bit in this forum post, you'll see uh, the Star Trek ships that are easily installed using the XSP system and a guide on how to install that. Of course, the beginning of this series I talked about how to install XSP ships now one special note my Star Trek ship collection now I didn't make these ships these were made by community members for the game X3 reunion which is kind of old and some of them were made for X3 Terran conflict so when I installed them into Albion Prelude the latest of the X3 series they weren't balanced so I went in and I balanced each ship to what I thought they should be. I brought their hull values up because they were at like, uh, I want to say 500,000 when every other ship of the same class already in the game has over 5 million. Yeah, they really weren't balanced. So I went in and I balanced them. I packaged them up and I went ahead and uploaded them onto the, uh, the website server, which you can download here. And of course, they're XSP ships, so I already have made a guide on how to download those in the part one of this video, or just go back to the beginning of this video and click the link on how to install XSP ships. Okay, so next up, these big, getting into how to install these mods. We're gonna talk about false patch method. Now the false patch method is the way you install quite a few mods, but the majority of the mods you're gonna have to do this with are the big ones, like I believe the Battlestar Galactica one is one like this. I think the rebalance one is like that. The Combat Mod 4 is a mod that I personally use that rebalances combat, but doesn't make me use one of these giant overhauls. So that means I can rebalance all the combat and still use my Star Trek ships. Um, so we're gonna go in on how to install those. So to install one of these, you need to, of course, go to, say that's the Combat Mod 4. This requires you to use the false patching method. Now, they have guides on how to do it. I recommend you read their readme or read the guide here on the forum itself. Um, just look for the install selection. There we go, installation. And there's different versions. There's the Terran Conflict, how to install for that, and how to install for Albion Prelude. But 
to sum it up, the majority of false patching, uh, all it requires you to do is download the mod, which I already have downloaded. We'll go ahead and open that up. You're going to need some type of WinRAR, WinZip, one of these free extracting programs. Now you're gonna have a dat file and a cat file, and you may have some scripts and, you know, related to the mod that you're working with. So make sure you read their readme. But to install the cat and the dat file, which is actually what's called the, the false patch method, you're gonna to wanna to go to the installation directory. And the quickest way to do this is go to your Steam. If you have it installed through Steam, go to Albion Prelude, right click properties, local files, and then you can go to browse local files and it'll open the install directory for Terran Conflict. Whether you clicked on Terran Conflict or Albion Prelude, it'll always open up to the X3 Terran Conflict folder. Now, what you have to do is, you're gonna wanna grab both of these and extract them into, if you're working with Terran Conflict, if you're modding Terran Conflict, you're gonna wanna drop the cat and dat file into the Terran Conflict main directory folder, which is the one that it automatically update opens if you're opening it through Steam. But if you're modding Albion Prelude, you're gonna drag and drop them into the add-ons folder. All right, so Albion Prelude, they go under add-on. Terran Conflict, if you're modding that game, is gonna go under just the generic X3 Terran Conflict folder. All right, so you grab the two patch files, drag and drop them in, and then all you have to do is right click them, click rename, and label them a number higher than the highest number you have on there. So we've got 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're gonna name this one 14. Same thing with your dat file. Go ahead, rename that 14. And that's it, that's how you install the, fa the false patch method. And you can do this for multiple. So and then if you have to do another one that requires the false patch method, excuse me, I'm still sick. <laughs> it's hard to talk right now. Then you're gonna enable, like if I'm gonna throw another one in here, it'll be labeled 15 and then another one will be 16. Now this is the combat mod. I already have it installed actually. Let's go ahead and delete that. But that's it. Follow the, the instructions on what they tell you to do to install them. If you have scripts, you'll have to drag and drop your scripts in here. You can see this is a director folder. There's a director folder here, so which actually has a combat mod for file in it. So all I had to do was drag and drop that in here. So follow the instructions they give you, but that's the gist of what they're talking about if you don't quite understand it. All right, well, that's it for false patching. We talked about the different types of mods that are out there. The last thing is recommended mods. Now, this list is still growing. This is over on the forum. This is my recommended mods. These are the mods that I currently have installed. There's the XSP ship list, which is the entire list. They're not all balanced. Now, the ones that I put in here are balanced for the game, but everything under the XSP ship list isn't balanced. But this is all of the ships the community has made. Uh, in the XSP format that are very easy to install. Uh, then we've got a few other mods in there. I recommend you just check them out. I'm going to keep adding descriptions, kind of give you an idea of what they do and why I like them. Um, and there's really neat stuff here, like mobile mining allows you to set up a big ship so it'll go out and mine for you. I Like I said, Combat Mod 4 is all about rebalancing the combat and making it more interesting. It even changes some of the effects and sound effects to just make the battles just feel more epic. Uh, let's see here. We've got abandoned ship spawner in Albion Prelude. There's no wrecks that float around in space. So this will add them for you to explore and try to find them. Just little things that add more to the game. Now there are a lot more mods that I need to put on this recommended list because there's quite a few on here that I haven't added that are fun, that change how the AI works, how the universe is handled. Some will generate new areas of space to go explore. They'll add new enemies. They'll add new you know AI structures on how everything will work. It'll actually make the war a real fighting war um, Lots of mods I need to add to this and they will be coming soon So always check back on the forum and come over and join the forum for the XP gamers. We're talking about mods We're talking about new and upcoming mods mods that are out. We're organizing. We're gonna be organizing uh, community games over there community game night so we'll probably jump on some planet side and we'll probably try to do I want to do a tournament of like uh, Star Trek or something like that. Anyways, I'll get into that later in an update video. 
that wraps up this series for X3 Albion Prelude and how to mod it. I hope this has helped some of you out there. I know this game is a pain in the butt to mod, but it's worth it. If you Once you dive in, you'll realize how deep this game really is and how much you can do with it. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe here to the XP Gamers for more modding goodness. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.